I would describe my bike as very schnazzy. <laughs> She's a uh, good, I like the polished finish. Bit of chrome on there, all about the chrome. This is my 2018 GT Fury. This is my mechanic, Tom Duncan. Well, we've got the Saint brakes, which are probably uh, the key thing for downhill. I think they're the best brakes out there. I, I've run Saint brakes probably the last five years. Pretty happy with them. I, I try to use them on all my bikes, even on my enduro bikes as well. So, eight inch rotors, front and rear. Metal pads. Metal pads. With the fins. Yeah, the fins on the uh, pads get a bit of a uh, cooling on them. Generally run my lever a little bit further in than most people just so it's comfortable and um, don't have to pull too far. Because when runs the, the lever's really close, the brake setup's got to be pretty good. Like the pads have to be centralised perfectly because sometimes when the lever is really close it's hard to get a good consistent feel all the time. So yeah, we just we just set that up by making checking the alignment of the pads pretty much after every run and just keep it on top of it. We very rarely have to do a bleed, but just as the pads wear, we top the fluid up in the lever just so that we don't get inconsistencies. Generally speaking, it's fairly easy to keep the brakes going to how wind likes. St. Cranks, standard 165, yep. I think. Yeah, 165 St. Cranks with a 36-tooth ring and an 1123 cassette. I think the most important thing on down a bike for me is probably the suspension setup and uh, just getting it comfortable so you can go fast and be be happy on it going fast. Like uh, sometimes it takes quite a while to get, get the setup you want. You've got to do quite a lot of uh, testing and just try different things but once I'm happy I don't change too much so once you're comfortable you can go fast or you sort of you know going fast comes from being comfortable so we do spend a bit of time you know with bar height and bar roll and wind rides quite far over the front so getting the sort of rake and the bar height is quite crucial for him because wind rides over the front we'd run a harder fork because he has more weight over the front wheel than most people and a little bit softer with the shock than most people would do and then a higher bar as well because the fork is sat in more with more weight. If there's something I think about changing I'll come down and tell Tom and sometimes we go through it and try something go up and do it again come down and see generally um, just trial and error. Yeah pretty much and kind of read from Wind's feedback what, what changes might need to be made if he's maybe losing front wheel grip on a turn we'd make changes to, to solve that or if there's a different issue then we can try and get to the bottom of it based on experience from being at the other races. Thank you.